we're very proud to be part of this genuinely international convoy, um, and we would like to develop the relationships that we've built on. How do you feel that people in New Zealand can best support these international efforts and build support in New Zealand for Palestine? Uh, our friends and uh, comrades in, uh, in uh, New Zealand uh, are uh, uh, participating with the efforts for lifting the siege in Gaza since the siege been uh, uh, imposed on Gaza. So they are trying to do their best. I remember from the, uh, the fifth convoy with uh, the Reef of Palestina, uh, which, which came from London uh, through Europe and uh, to Syria and Jordan. The Kia Ora Gaza team was fantastic and they helped much uh, in, in organizing the uh, convoy uh, during our uh, travel to Gaza and uh, they managed to uh, increase the awareness about the siege and about what is happening in Gaza after the war, which means they are doing a, a very good job in, in New Zealand, but I feel myself that they can do a lot more. They can do a lot more because uh, helping the Palestinian is not just coming to Gaza, as you know. Gaza people, they want and they, they welcome everyone to come to Gaza and they feel happy that the people are feeling with them, are, uh, are caring about them. But I know from uh, the discussions I, I had with many of the leaders in Gaza that they believe, especially the Western people, uh, who, came, who, who come from... Uh, the, Europe, from New Zealand, from Australia, from America, the main role for them uh, in the eyes of the people of Gaza is the lobbying in their country. Mm. The political pressure uh, uh, on, on, the, on the governments there in order to change uh, their, their uh, stance regarding Gaza, increasing awareness in, among their uh, societies, the mainstream society, not only the groups who are working for Palestine, the classical or typical or uh, traditional uh, groups, small groups working just among themselves. Because the people they need, and Palestine in general, need from those people who are considered by Gaza people as heroes. So they expect from them a high expectation to increase awareness about their suffering among their societies. And they believe that visiting Gaza, for example, once in, uh, in a year should be, should be giving the, the, the groups who are visiting Gaza the power for the full year of work in, in, in New Zealand, for example, or in any Western country. And not to be there just for preparing yourself to come again and again. Yeah. With respect to all this effort, they believe that your work in the streets of New Zealand, mm. in the streets of Auckland, or any of the uh, areas in New Zealand is equivalent to uh, the visit of Gaza or even more. Yes. So this is the, I believe this is their expectation, not only from the New Zealand uh, people, from the Kiwi, or, uh, fr but from all the Western people, because they believe that the Western people has more influence in politics on Israel than all the Arab and Muslim people who are coming to visit Gaza. And this is why their, their expectation is very high from the Western uh, comrades and friends. Well, you certainly agree with that, and we'll be taking the messages back from, from Gaza, what we've learned, what we've seen, and transmitting it through uh, to our people back home in New Zealand, and as you say, and build up that support, that mainstream support uh, as broadly as possible and build up uh, yeah, solidarity for Palestine. Yeah, and I think, I think, Roger, in order to build this uh, awareness and uh, to increase it, I think uh, uh, you need, you need uh, I'm, I'm sure you know this, you need to try to unite all the efforts uh, in, in, in the country there. In order, because, because I know the, the movement in New Zealand is not uh, as strong as uh, the United Kingdom, of course. Uh, uh, in the United Kingdom, there is a very nice example of the cooperation between all the sectors of the society uh, in order to support Palestine. 
So, uh, and there is some sort of coalition known as the coalition uh, in the eyes of the Israelis and the uh, institutions uh, of security and research in Israel. They consider that coalition is more dangerous than than the nuclear weapon because they believe that they live uh, on the image they created for Israel in the West that it is a democratic country that it is. Uh, mm. uh, caring about the human rights, but when you talk about Israel and the, re the reality about Israel, that means you are hurting the occupation. And uh, this is a very uh, strong uh, way of uh, resisting the uh, occupation of the Israelis to uh, Gaza and the whole of Palestine. Mm. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure working with you. Thank you. And hopefully we can go.